What? What? Okay. I... What? The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was... Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mr. A from Mr. A Plays, and we are back with another episode of our Pokemon Scarlet Let's Play series. This is episode 22, and in the last episode, we just finished doing the Path of Legends, the Path of Titans, I think it was Path of Legends, storyline, where we fought all the Titans, and we ultimately fought Arvin, and spoke with his mom, who said that we need to go down to the greater crate, the great crater of Paldea, into Area Zero to help her. However, after beating Arvin, he told us that we need four people to go down, and then said we need a champion rank trainer, Nimona, or a crazy tech trainer, Penny. Which means that we kind of know Cassiopeia is probably Penny. And we already thought that all along. With all that being said, I'm going to head straight to the Naranja Academy. Because if you remember, Cassiopeia said meet her at night. It is currently night right now. Even though I wanted to do the Elite Four, we'll go and do Cassiopeia right now. Because it is night time. And I don't want to have to wait until the next cycle comes around. But while we're here, let's get our team switched around. We just used our first of three teams that we really like for this whole entire game. Let's move some items around, though. Let's do this. I think this is what we'll rock with. Falco with no items, so that way I can make use of the acrobatics move. Even though uh, Lemon has acrobatics, we'll keep Wise Glasses on, on both Lemon and Jewel. Because they're both special attackers. Put the Life Orb on Shredder, our brand new King Gambit, which is looking so cool. And then we'll throw the Soft Sand on Fungi. And we'll just put Amulet Coin on Rabia. I could have went with, like, you know... Anything from Never Melt Ice to Sharp Beak to Black Glasses or even Mystic Water just to increase any of those stats, but we'll just throw the Amulet Coin on. Now, our last battle we just did, they were level 60 at the top. So I'm gonna. Oh no, it's turning daytime. It's turning daytime. Okay, never mind. We might have to do some shenanigans to make it back to nighttime. I don't know if there's a way to sleep in our dorm room and make it slower. Oh my god. Speaking of slow, I'm looking at that kid walking off in the distance. Um, not slower. See if we can make it later. Um, we'll, we'll just quickly give some candies to level up the team, because they were level 60 before. Well, Arvin's team was level 60. Three? Is that enough? Wow, it's not. Okay. 60. Power Whip. Is that special? I thought it was physical. It is physical. I have a higher physical attack than special, and I'm just realizing this? I think it's pretty balanced, honestly. Um, but I like Giga Dream. I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay a special attacker. I know it sounds weird, but we're gonna, we're gonna make some other changes. First of all, let me get it to 60. Oh, wrong one. No, I didn't mean to use one. I meant to use like eight. We'll give it six more. Beautiful. What we're going to do is we're going to see if this thing can learn Earthquake. That'll be better than Mudshot. Remember moves. Earth Power. Even better. I didn't even know it tried to learn that at one point. But what I'm going to do is this is a Mushroom Pokemon and I was facing another Toad Screw earlier and realized something. Just like other Mushroom Pokemon, it has Spore. Which is a grass type move that not many Pokemon get that is a 100% Accurate sleep, and then I can spore them afterwards, or hex them afterwards. So we're definitely gonna do that. Everyone else's move set looking good. We still have the Terra Blast for the flying type, which is funny. Um, yeah, this is a uh, this will work. Yeah, we'll do this, and we'll start with Rabia, just because we'll get that amulet coin right off the bat. All right. Oh, Clavel. Why, why is Clavel up front? It's Clive, actually. Why is Clive up front? Clive? What's up, Austin? Uh, can I call you Clavel now? Oh, come on. The name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Aha! We already knew it was you, Clavel. Why am I surprised? I'm not surprised! I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. 
In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranja Academy. Mr. Clavel. <laughs> no, no, no way. Yeah, I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. Although, now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity... What? What? Okay. I... What? The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. What? How? He literally called when being there. Was it... Was it all just hacked, recorded lines? Like, fake? Yo, I am... I'm loving this. Yeah, for real? No, that's... A, wait, what? Honest to goodness, I broke his heart when I said that. When you heard Cassi Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off. Er, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos? Oh yes, it was very clever. Wait, is it him or not? I, he sounds like he's just messing with me now. So, Master Austin, now you know I'm the big boss. That means there is just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Is it because I got here at nighttime that I'm able to do this? There is so much to say here. First of all, this music, his theme, sounds so cool. Second of all, why is he using a Pokeball? The man literally carries six Premier Balls on the side. He should be using a Premier Ball. Gym leaders and Team Star Base users have different color balls, so... I'm just listening to the music for a minute. Okay. Oranguru. That would be something you would have, old man. Wow. So interesting. I am Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Wait. I do see the purpose and, like, the motive, though. I'll Altec... I see the motive now. The head director wants the kids that were considered bullies to stop bullying, but also wants them to return to school because they're going to get expelled. I see the drive, but I'm still so lost. I really thought it was Penny. I thought they let everything on with the whole Geller incident. I'm so lost. Just let Psyduck walk on by. Wait, how come they can walk through this battle? Director Clavel is about to send out Houndoom. Um, I think I could just fight- Oh, I just lost the rain because I took so much time deciding. Maybe I did. Sometimes the rain will go away, but the battle still reads that there's rain. I- You know what? I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. In case there's no rain, which- I mean, I can still hit it with a strong waterfall. I'm going to risk it and go for Earth Power because I want to see how much damage it'll do. Now I'm the right level. He was level 60 with his start. Who is his ace going to be? He has six. Oh, beautiful. I'm faster. I, why am I faster than Houndoom? It doesn't one-shot. That's a... Oh! Wow! I am tanky! Okay. Okay. I like this music a lot. Obama Snow. <laughs> Wait till you hit this. I, I, I'm going to risk this. I'm not even going to Flare Blitz. I'm going to Flame Charge. Because of the four times super effective. And I think I might be able to take it off. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Snow Warning. But it failed. Because it was raining in the overworld? I think I've heard that weather can fail if you try to... Wow! I should have used Flare Blitz. Okay, then. He still lands a blizzard. Wow! Yeah, I think if there's weather conditions already present, like there was rain when we started this battle, no weather you use actually works during the battle, which is kind of dumb. Because that would have increased his defense right there if he had the snow, because snow now increases your defense. If you're a nice type. 
Pulte guys. Yeah, we'll go in here. Let's switch out to our ghost. I just don't know which ghost is faster. I imagine I'm tankier, and this thing has probably weak armor, so. Hey! Little Lemon with its cute little mouth. <laughs> Pulte guys. Do you have an authentic one or the fake one, the phony? I probably should have used Willow Wisp on it first. Oh no, we'll still two shot. You stinker! It's gonna try to use Hex on me. It's gonna try to use Hex on me and get that double. It's gonna try to get one shot me. Thankfully, I'm faster. Hopefully, we're not speed tied. Otherwise, that'd be really bad. Okay. He was trying to do what I was just thinking about doing to him, the whole Willow Wisp Hex thing. I don't like that people can walk through this battle right now. Like, don't you see we're having a very serious battle right here? The director and a student are having a full, full out, six on six, level 60 battle, and you're just walking through. Amoongus. Amoongus. What can I do against Amoongus? Hmm. No one's been defeated on my side, so. I do kind of want to use Shredder, though. I wanted to use everyone in each one of these battles, so. Shredder, it's your turn. This thing is so cool. The hair being like a little black and red. Oh, his ace is going to be up next. What does this do again? Well, let's see if I can get a flinch. I'm already level 61 too now. That attack stat is absolutely nuts. Oh, I forgot I had life orb on this. Yeah, that's not going to help you at all. I'm literally <laughs> going to dice you up with this move. I'm going to take my head and cut open yours. <laughs> all right. And... Ching! Goodbye. Is... Okay, I'm not going to look. Does he have the pseudo or does he have the last starter? Because Nimona had a starter. He does have the last starter. Okay. I had been wondering who would have the last starter, and it wasn't Arvin, and I didn't think it would be Penny, because I still think she's going to have Eevee as her ace. Um, yeah. My starter should have been here for this. Oh! We have one Pokemon we haven't used yet as well for our 6v6, and, uh, it's the perfect Pokemon for this. I have two super effective moves for you. There we go. Heh. <laughs> to think that I, Cassiopeia, would be backed into a corner like this. So this man has three different identities, Clavel, Clive, and Cassiopeia. All right, look at this thing dancing along, <laughs> moving and grooving. I already knew what this looked like though because the people that I have been watching. Very well, it seems I still have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. Oh, I didn't consider that. I should have terrestrialized. All right, let's hope this thing doesn't have high defenses and doesn't one-shot me with something. Because I get close combat, it is a water fighting type. I know I've seen other people's playthroughs where they're playing with Quackoable and they haven't gotten as far as I have yet, but still. Do take a step back, please. This may get dangerous. Oh boy, why would you gonna use? Aqua Step. That's its signature move. What does it do again? Attack boost? Speed? And you're already wicked fast! That thing just did so much damage! I have to hope I'm faster than it. I'm gonna risk the terrestrialization. I gotta hope I'm faster than this thing. Oh my gosh, I should have terrestrialized. I would have actually won. I would have won. Clive, Covell, Cassiopeia, whatever your name is. Director, please, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Let me be faster than you paralyzed. No! No! <laughs> Jewel! No, I should have done it to begin with. I forgot that they terrestrialized because Arvin terrestrialized. I should have known each one of these bosses would terrestrialize. Jewel, I'm sorry! This thing is fast now. This thing is like really fast right now. Um. Is it faster than Falco though? Falco is really fast. If it is, I'm in more trouble because I'm letting this thing keep getting a higher and higher speed set. Nope! Okay, cool. Thank you, Velko. <laughs> wow. Okay. Still love this music. Sorry, Jewel. We <laughs> have Jewel go down. Yeah, he has all Premier Balls. Why didn't he use Premier Balls? 
How strong you have grown. 26,000. Nice. Amulet coin in for the win. We've already made 50,000 in the last two battles. Well now, Master Austin. It seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. I, He had me going at the beginning of this. But then right before we battled, he said something about those uh, high-tech high gasmo things. And I was like, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's got to be messing with me, right? If this girl walks straight through him right now, I swear. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. But I believe I can hazard a guess as to who that may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenged you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance at saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task. But please, defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Leave it to me. Here we go. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there! What do you think you're doing? Time? Ah, Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Miss Clevel. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why, the director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Uh, no, I, if I could just explain. You see, it is a rather sad tale. Oh, spare me! Your excuses reek worse than a stunky's behind. A stunky's b b b behind. Ahem. Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I am counting on you, Master Austin. You'll write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. And I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board. Make no mistake. Oh, uh, good gracious. No, any anything but that. I implore you. Isn't he the director? He should be able to make up the rules. What the heck? Okay. We have to go inside still. Um, oh, I'm just thinking about this right now. Somewhere on here there's Eevee. I think it's up near here. But I have been wearing my Pokemon tie that I got for Christmas a couple years ago. My sister gave it to me. And I thought it was really fun to use it for the end of this series as we're wrapping up. We'll just dress up for the end of it. Closing out the 2022 year. So let's go ahead and figure out what's going on with this big boss. I guess we can still use this team, right? Do we? Do we change the team? Again? Do we? Do we? Let's do it. Why not? We'll make it fun. Me editing this afterwards is not going to enjoy this and think it's fun, but... There we go. I keep using my little shadow to do that. All right, we'll level everything up real quick. And then actually, I gotta see if I got any good moves for Azula. Double shock? What is double shock? Me just saying I need to get new moves. The user discharges all the electricity from his body to perform a high damage attack. After using this move, the user will no longer be electric type. So I turn into just a fighting type. 120? It's like, it's literally like burn up. I'll be a fighting type with Volt Absorb. Yo, that is, that is wild. And I love it. And I could use Dig, but what would I be using Dig against? Other electric types? Nah, we're doing this. Forget Wild Charge. Okay, that's cool. Fire Blast. We're learning all the big moves. No, I actually don't want that. I have a really good move set on Fuego right now. Final Gambit. Ooh. Isn't that like crazy damage? It faints but inflicts damage equal to its own HP. Wow. Uh, you know what? No, close combat's still okay. We'll, we'll forget Final Gambit. We don't need it. 
I overleveled Azula a little bit, but that's all right. All right, we'll get the items and the moves organized. I think all the moves are pretty good. Oh, you need a better fighting move. Close combat. Let's go. <laughs> this, is, this is just too easy. Oh, this is amazing. We got to move these around, though. Mm, Iron Head Poison Jab, that's fine, right? You don't get anything else crazier than that. Gunshot, but... Gunshot is physical! I did not... Wait, what's the accuracy? I'm gonna do it. Wait. 80, 120. But I'll always land this. Nah, we won't do it. As much as I want to. Um, yeah. Let's also give you Earthquake if we can. Leaf Blade. Ooh, you learned Milk Drink? Horn Leech. Horn Leech, Leaf Blade. What do I want here? I think we're gonna take Horn Leech. Yeah, we have a good special attack though, too, honestly. Let's. What, what else can I learn here? Hmm. Hmm. Earthquake! Hey, we can learn it! I don't have to use a TM. Boom. Earthquake. Definitely. This thing is getting buff, and it's got a very diverse moveset. Could do Milk Drink. I'm not gonna. I'm not missing anything good here, right? Nah. I'll keep Outrage. And what about here? Psychic. No. Wait. No. Because Lumina Crash is still gonna be better. Right? Let me see. 90 might lower special defense. 80 always lowers special defense. Like, yeah. I could... Oh, wait. I could use Psychic over Disarming Voice. Why do I still have Disarming Voice? That way I've got a choice. Yeah, yeah. And we've got D-Gleam as well. All right. Team is all settled. We got some crazy good items here. We got special attack boosting wise classes. For Fuego, we've got Azula with the Life Orb, it's going to be doing crazy damage. We've got Chevelle with the Metal Coat to increase the Iron Head damage. We've got the Amulet Coin on Capriella, because I don't have the Grass item, which I thought I did. Which is Miracle Seed, that's what it's called. I, I, I thought I had it, I guess I don't. And then Bully's got the Black Belt for that close combat. And Doctor Strange has got the Twisted Spoon for the Psychic type moves. What's going on again, Derek? Um, The moves are all good, but look at these stats. 156, 120 for cross attacks. 158, highest attack stat we have yet. 156, then 170, 170 on Annihilate. Yeah, we've got some crazy stats here for attack stats. All right, let's 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 keep moving forward. We'll save and let's enter in here and hope there's no Pokemon just like in the doorway like like last time when there was randomly a Talon Flame in the door. Don't ruin the scene for me, don't ruin it for me. No Talon Flame, we're good. Where am I supposed to go? Where am I supposed to go? Are you still chilling here? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm not giving you my legendaries. Where am I supposed to go? Can I check with this? Where do I want to go? Um, I guess the nurse's office? I haven't been in there yet. Hello. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. Oh, Austin, I'm glad you're here. I have some good news. You're not going to believe this, but I passed the health teacher certification exam. <laughs> applause. Hey, you're a teacher like me. Congrats. Thank you so much. I saw you pushing yourself really hard with your treasure hunt, and that really inspired me. Okay. Of course, most of the credit for my success goes to my own hard work, though. <laughs> Good, true. Thanks for giving me the push I needed to try again, Austin. There we go. That max revives. Cool. But they tell me there's no room to add new classes this year. So I guess I'll keep being Nurse Miriam for a bit. DLC? Maybe she'll be a health teacher? Just you wait, though. I'll be standing in front of a class at this academy before you know it. Then I'll teach you all you need to know about health. I bet I'll make a great teacher. I can't wait to see you in my class. Awesome. And that was the close bond with Miriam. So that's just another teacher we've got the close bond with. We're trying to get that for everybody. Cool. Now where do we go? 
Um, it says that we need to be here though, but like where? Oh, it has to be nighttime. That's why I was gonna go to my dorm room and see if can I sleep until different times of the day. Yes. Can I really not change the time of day? Uh, this is annoying. Okay, I guess we'll try something else because we need to make it turn into nighttime again. Hmm. I might try the whole saving and turning off method to see if that works, but I also am going to just play around outside because I think that the saving only does like 5 or 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. And I think it's like a 30 minute day and night cycle. So what we're going to try is... Yeah, and it's already getting later in the day, it looks like, because there's shadows starting to form. Where's the sun? I can't tell, but I think the sun is going down right now. So, yeah, the shadows are getting longer. This way. So, yeah, the sun is going down. It'll be nighttime soon. Let's try this. Let's try to save the game. Going with my favorite team to fight Cassiopeia. To Pila? To go fight Cassiopeia. Alright, let's close it. Let's turn it back on. Boom. Let's hope this worked. I shut it off, turn it back on. I think some time should pass. It, the sun was just starting to go down. I'm hopeful. Okay, it does work. It, I think it passes like 15 minutes. So now we can go to the schoolyard and fight Cassiopeia, which I'm pretty positive is Penny. It was kind of spoiled to us by Arvin. I did get thrown for a loop for a moment by Clavel, but... Or Clive. Or pseudo Cassiopeia. Okay. Schoolyard? Doesn't say that she's up there. Oh! But this is doing the trick. It is Penny! I knew it! Game trying to mess with me. It literally even says Cassiopeia there. Uh, 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 Austin? She's got her hood up. She's so tough now with her hood up. Oh, man. Thanks for coming. Are you actually not shy and I'm giving you this shy voice? Don't be surprised. We know it's Penny. With that bag. But uh, that smirk! Wait, you're not shy! You're just... You're sly, not shy! Heh. <laughs> this might be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia, look how smug. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. You hacker, she's just like rich. After the operation started, I kept an eye out on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I just can't roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Yeah. Thanks. Clive, get rid of your... your... We already know that you're Clavel. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology missed time and me... Er, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after- Ah, uh, no I mean, is that you Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I have a task for you Clive if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video of Team, to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Oh, okay, will do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. What? I thought she was all like shy and quiet. What's her music? What is going on? This is gonna be like a crazy Team Star remix, but like... 
Oh, it's all glitchy because she's a hacker. What do you have on your team? Umbreon. Oh, you're going to have all evolutions? That'd be so cool. <laughs> this is a bad lead for me. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to the Team Star's code. 62. I am under level. What? Who expects the young shy girl to have this? Wait, wait. Why does this go so hard? It sounds like what I was listening to when I was in high school. <laughs> like Dota. Oh my gosh, that hack drop really hurt. Hey, 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 hey. You glad I'm bastard. I'm just gonna be grooving the whole battle. Hey, go get it, Azula. Flareon, she is she is just gonna have a bunch of evolution. I what do I do for Flareon? Like what do I actually do for Flareon? Oh. We do Earth Power. We could go ahead and use uh Torch Song just to increase our special attack and keep using Torch Song on this. And then just body everything else. But I like to give everyone a little time under the sun. Or under the moon, I guess, it's nighttime. Yo, stop with the baby doll eyes stuff. I'm a, literally a special attacker. Will she actually have an EV energy? Or just EV Lucy? We've seen Umbreon, we've seen Flareon. She's probably gonna have Sylveon, Glaceon. Oh, she has Vaporeon. I'm gonna go with Sylveon, Glaceon, Jolteon. Sylveon, Glaceon, Jolteon. Yeah, it's the last three. We'll go with those. Um, what was it? Vaporeon. Oh, we're gonna Horn Leech this. Get our 25,000 if that's how much he's gonna give us with an amulet coin. Love this shiny. And the stage lights out here actually make it look good too, even though it's nighttime. I mean, maybe she doesn't have Glaceon or Leafeon, but I imagine she has the first three original. Wow, that did not do that much because of the baby doll eyes. She just spam baby doll eyes over and over again. Is that all she's gonna do this whole battle? Has she attacked once? I think once she's actually attacked. It's like this is, what are you doing? Aurora Beam. Ooh! That was actually fine. My attack falling is so annoying though. And now we heal up a little bit. Cool. He was not much of a challenge. Come on, Cassiopeia. You gotta be way stronger than this. Stop spamming it. Baby doll eyes. Okay, Jolteon's gotta come out. Leafeon. Oh, I said Glaceon. Leafeon. Okay. We'll use Chevelle. Because I could use Fuego, but this gives a chance for Chevelle to show on the field and rock that gold shiny out here. Hey! Under the light. Hit him with a poison jab. Don't use baby doll eyes. Why is it all you're doing is using baby doll eyes? You're not Little Penny anymore. You're supposed to be the impressive Cassiopeia. This is really upsetting me. I'm under leveled by two levels, and you just keep using baby doll eyes for the first two turns each time. And then you usually hit me with an actual attack. So let me guess. Either you're going to use baby doll eyes again right now, or you're going to use Leaf Blade. Did I call it, or what? Two turns of baby doll eyes each time, and then straight to the actual attack. This is really disappointing for a battle. I actually enjoyed Clavel's battle more. That one was fun. All right, you're going to have Sylveon. You've got to have Sylveon, right? Sylveon? Maybe you have Espeon. Maybe you don't have Sylveon. Um, Jolteon. I could hit Earthquake with, um, Capriella, but I want to use everyone on the team. Why don't we do this? Because if, if it is Espeon or Sylveon in the back, neither of those Bully will be good again. So, Bully can have his moment right now with this crazy high attack stat. Uh, 
Um, do we want to close combat? Yeah, why not? Oh, you are attacking! You aren't using baby doll eyes for once. And you miss. You missed your thunder. You should probably run thunder bolt instead of thunder. Otherwise, that happens. You need to get too hyped for the the slaughter that is absolutely happening right now for me. Sylveon! You do have Sylveon. I guessed that part right. Okay. Well, Chevelle would obviously wreck you, but I never got to use our Espathra. I never got to use Doctor Strange, and I've used all of our main members in the last three big battles. So, I can't fault you on your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses felt at your hands. So, fell. Do I terrestrialize though? Because you're gonna terrestrialize. I don't think I do. You know what? We will. Just because we're stuck here anyways. I'm faster than she is. I'm assuming she can terrestrialize. I'm assuming. I'm actually not sure because none of the other bosses could in Team Star. They all had their vehicle instead. Time to terrestrialize. Shine bright like the starry sky and become who you really want to be. A big fairy with a heart on their head. The easy bag going wild. At least all my theories ended up being true. She probably went to Gala, that's where she got the the G Max pedal bag. She must be training Eevee her whole life to get every Eevee Lucian. Like, that's dedication and I love it. A true Eevee fanatic in the game. Yeah. Oh, this will still work because the special defense is going to keep dropping. Oh, yeah. We got this. Oh, yeah. We got this. My VV power will crush you into Stardust. Your what? Your VV? No, it's called Eevee, not VV. What? Am I... Am I missing something about the stats of... What? Do I have anything with any sort of, like... Do I have any priority? Fuego! Fuego, can you end this thing for me? What? It just completely one-shot me! With a not-too-perfective move! I mean, I guess it's double stab, but, like... Holy crap! Alright, take this thing up. Oh, good. He only used baby doll eyes. If that thing just did that again, I'd be like, what the heck? I'm wondering why she's like, oh, VB power. I'm like, yeah, you can't do anything. <laughs> it's one shot. So I'm sorry, Dr. Strange. You put in a lot of work, though, and let, uh, you know, let Fuego take the win. There we go. Penny of Team Star. And there's a, even a meteor shower over top of us right now, which is really cool. Are you angry? It's all over now. 30,000, even better. What do you have to say? Hmm? What you got? It's finally over, guys. It's done. Is this being sent out everywhere to all Team Star live? Hmm. Do they actually... But they don't know what she looks like. Oh, wait. Is this a year and a half ago? It's got the sepia tone. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be kidding! We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed. Merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyrannous oppression. It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, we you didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized and a whole lot. Our, our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made it a huge stink about what went down, and they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plans backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What do you say? 
I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this, so I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, noble, kind, big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. BB? Big boss. <laughs> Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. For these, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. She just ran outside the window like that. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Okay, that's what you went together. Thanks for everything, Austin. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see things through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss, uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like t Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to that code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. But the, big, but the bosses would do anything the code required of them. Even leave the team? Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus the idea of St Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star... No, what do your friends in the team mean to you? Oh, the greatest treasure, right? Here it comes. There. They're my greatest treasure. Stop. Every time they say that line and this music is going, I feel so emotional. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well, then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Aha! He's doing it again. Director Clavel! Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy known as Clive was mine. But why? I needed a walk away to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but wait, where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. <laughs> Me too. Ahem. Well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Oh, is that all the Team Star bosses? Tell me it is. Or is it the teachers? Huh? Oh, man. All this music. Yo, big boss, long time no see. Momo. From Chiyakomo. Oh, man, this is making me emotional with the music. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Pelias, thy long ridden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my young lady. Atticus. Thom, I heard your real name's Penny. How you've been. How, how have you been this whole time? Forty. Oh man, this is making me all teary. We found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Ari. <laughs> okay, gang. On the count of three. One, two, three. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia. And hello, Penny. <laughs> Stop. Oh, in the music. It hits me. I get so emotional in movies. This is going to hit me. I know it's a kid's game. Leave me alone. Now then, Miss Penny. And each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. C come again? 
as director of the academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I, I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I have ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. But I know now this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so, I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed. Team Star can continue to exist, should that be your wish. Woohoo! Penny, isn't that great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. <laughs> but I, I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us about all about it. As far as we heard, we, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to, after all. In our style. I cannot begin to imagine how you must have felt feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But, even so... Hold on, everyone. I'm, I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled manners to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. You protracted truancy. You brazen customization of school uniforms. You unauthorized usage of aquatic equipment. You reckless modification of jeopardous driving of Pokemon-powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. And they're all in trouble. <laughs> Thus, as punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes. Specifically, I will be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for... The Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Master Austin battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star, are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using uh, your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? <laughs> um, no? Sounds like fun! So I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true. We would most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too! That way, if anything that happens, we'll be there to protect you! We were, we were already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This'd be a sweet deal for us! So what do you say? You guys? Austin, what do you think? G give it your best. I think it sounds great. I think it sounds great. Huh? But, 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 um, I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star after all. I simply meant it's time to leave. <laughs> it is. It's past, past curfew. Master Austin, please stop by, by my office later if you would. Wow, okay. I love this storyline. Oh, we're back in our dorm room? Okay, I love this storyline. So, we end up going... Oh, it doesn't say to go there, but I'll go there anyways. We end up... Just... Mem... Just membering. <laughs> Some body. We end up... Taking the entire team star, star and just, you know, breaking it all up one at a time. Getting a badge for each. I want a Cassiopeia badge, just saying. We fight Cassiopeia... He gets all the Team Star bases to come together here at the end, tells them they're not expelled, and then opens the STCs. That is a really cool director, for starters. But to, like, recognize, like, hey, those are cool battle tactics. We've never seen this before. And, like, all the stuff you've done are, is really cool. So here's your punishment. It's a win-win. But, you know, you get... 
to continue being Team Star, but now you're going to be paid for it, but also it is your job, so you have to do it. Like, this is a requirement now for your community service. But they get to lead their Team Star bases in, like, training. That's so cool. I just wonder now, they said Penny you should join too. Will she just still be behind the scenes? Or will she get her own Starbase, like, in DLC? Because that'd be really cool. What would it be? Just an Evolution Starbase? Still really cool. Alright, what's up, Director? What you got for me? Ah, here you are, Master Austin. I wanted to thank you all for your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in, in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? Penny? Who is it? Um, it's Penny. I guessed it right. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. H Hello, Director. The red blue hair is so cool. About the FTCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of the Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um, I, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. What? And what would that be? Um, you know the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with the Operation Starfall? <laughs> I got a hold of it, sort of, <laughs> illegally, by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, I see. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that hard. I mean, <laughs> I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. Hmm, this is matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I am afraid. I will have to consult Miss Jita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how to best proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Master Austin, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Okay, thoughts. I know what's going to happen here. Jita is going to turn around and say, hey, I don't know like, where I'm going to have to go because I don't see anything on here. But I think Gita is going to say to the director, we actually need a tech person to go with Arvin, who is down here down to the great crater of Paldea. So my thought process is Arvin would go because he knows the area. He's been down there and it's his mom down there. And then we bring Cassiopeia because Gita's going to say, if you have that kind of ability with tech skills, we need you on this team. That is going to be your version of making up for all this. And then Gita is probably going to send Nimona or I'm going to ask Nimona as a friend, like go because you're the other, you're the champion before I become champion. Um, with all that being said, I think I'm just going to, Call it right here, save, I'm going to go get myself some lunch, and then come back and record the last of these three storylines. Because we've already finished the Path of Legends, we just finished Starfall Street, I... Did we? Wait. Did we? I want to say we just finished Starfall Street, but I can't tell. There was no big Starfall Street complete thing. Weird. Well, we finished Starfall Street, I think. And <laughs> I think. And then that means all that's left is Victory Road. So we'll just leave the school building first. Just to see if there's anything else for Starfall Street. Maybe? We never got the big conclusion for Starfall Street ended. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Austin? Cassiopeia or Penny? <laughs> we'll call her Penny. There's something I want to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? You know where we first met? I'll be waiting. There we go. I was going to say, we never actually had the ending. So here I am about to end it, but we haven't actually had the ending. Yoink. And we'll get off. There you are, Penny. What's up? Crowdon wants to say hi. He wants to give you a kisses. He does a little licky lick thing. Hello? This is where we first met a month ago. <laughs> Probably a year ago in the game. Hasta la vista. Are you going back to Galar? The six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? I agree. Anyway, about the LP thing. I thought I was going down big time for hacking the League point system, but they're letting me off easy. That's great. Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. 
They asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently, I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. I never seem to find the right words, but um, th thank you so much. You saved Team Star and my friends along with it. I know words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Draco Meteor? Why that? Why do you have Draco Meteor? I'm sure you'll put this to good use. And one more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you out, Austin. Be seeing you then. Hasta la vista. Where do I find her? There's the ending to Starfall Street. Okay. That makes sense now. That was the ending we were looking for. Cool. Is that the end of that whole storyline? Cool. All right. Well, we'll save right here. Right where it all began. In front of Mesa Goza. <laughs> wow. Episode 2 was called Path to Mesa Goza. And here we are in episode 22. All right. We're going to save it. And we'll pick up with taking on the Elite Four and Champion Nimona in the next one for our very last storyline. As always, keep gaming, keep studying. It's the balance between the two. It's Mr. A for Mr. A plays and class is dismissed. Peace out.